Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows and today I'm winter sewing and I thought it would be a really great thing to show you how to do because it's such a nice thing to do in the middle of winter. It's February. I don't know about you, but I could really use a dose of, of gardening right now and this is a great way to do it. It's also nice for us small space gardeners when we don't have a lot of room indoors to grow seeds. We can start the we can plant the seeds indoors, set them outside in the winter time and let mother nature take it from there. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna be planting two different types of seeds today. I'm gonna to do butterfly weed and sea holly. Um, you might find on some of your seed packets that it's gonna mention vernalization or cold treatment, you know, benefits from cold treatment, treatment before planting. So what that is, is it's exposure to cold temperatures. Vernalization is a period of cold temperature that some seeds need to germinate. And you can accomplish it by putting it in the freezer for several weeks, or we can winter sow these seeds and put them outside and that's how we're gonna handle this. So and it just frees up space in the house and it lets me scratch that gardening itch that I have in February. So um, let me show you just what you need. Really simple thing, you don't need a lot. First off, you need empty water jugs. Um, you can use water jugs, milk jugs, make sure you rinse them out, uh, two liter bottles, anything that will let light in and it's gonna act as a miniature mini greenhouse for you. Then you need duct tape your seeds, of course, a pair of scissors, a Sharpie, and plant tags. So, oh, and soil. So your soil is important. You want to pretty moisten your soil. So let's get to it, and I'll show you just how simple it is to put this together. Start by removing the cap. You're not going to need it any longer. You want your jug to be able to take in rain and snow. Now we'll create a hinged roof for our greenhouse. Using a pair of scissors, I'm gonna cut away the top portion of the jug, making sure I leave about four inches of depth so that we, it, the jug can hold plenty of soil. I like to leave a hinged portion so that the, it's not completely cut away, and that hinge portion usually is right around where the handle is on the jug anyway. So, But you can leave your hinge wherever you feel it's most comfortable. Every container needs good drainage. You can use the end of a sharp knife, you can your scissors, even a drill bit to drill three to four holes in the base of your winter sewing jugs. Just be careful not to hurt yourself. Next step, soil. You can use any potting soil you have on hand, but maybe steer clear of anything with moisture retaining properties. It can tend to stay too wet and it potentially could rot your seeds. Then I just incorporate a little water, and you're going to want to stir it all to combine. You don't want to add too much and have it sopping wet, but just enough to dampen the entire bowl of soil. Now for the fun part. You want to add about three to four inches of soil to the base of your jug. And as you're adding it, firm it into place. You want to try to eliminate uh, air pockets as much as possible. Starting with the butterfly weed seed, I scattered about six to seven seeds on the surface of each container. I wasn't too precious about how many I put on there. I just wanted to make sure that I spaced them around so they weren't on top of each other. Some seeds need light to germinate, while others need a very light covering of soil. For this, I just used some soil that I did not dampen and just scattered it over the top. Uh, Asclep Asclepias tuberosa or butterfly weed needs about a quarter inch of soil on the top of it. Next, you want to add some moisture to the surface of your container. So I love this little handy pressure pump sprayer that I found at Home Depot. It's like eight bucks. You could also use a spray bottle, something you find at the dollar store. Anything that will gently spray your seeds so that, but not blow them off the surface of your container. The nozzle on this also is adjustable so you can make a more pointed spray or you can just make it a total mist. It's a really cool, really cool little gadget to have. Next step, and you'll be glad you did this, create labels for each jug. You want to have one inside and you want to write on the outside of your jug too. You're not going to remember what's in each container, I promise you. I have a hard time remembering what I ate for dinner yesterday. So get some labels on there so you know what's in each container in a couple months from now.
Now it's time to seal our greenhouses. You can close them up, wipe the exterior of each one to make sure your duct tape sticks properly. Rip off a few strips of duct tape and start sealing your edges. It can be a little tricky where the hinge is to line things up, but you don't have to be too exact. Just close it as best as possible and it should be just fine. Grab your Sharpie and date the jug and label it with the variety of seed inside. I forgot to dampen the surface of the second jug of butterfly weed seeds, so that having the opening on the top of the jug comes in really handy and that pump sprayer gets in there just fine. Let's move on to the Eryngium or the Sea Holly. This requires a slightly different treatment. It's, it needs light to germinate, so I will not be dusting it with a quarter inch layer of soil. It's just gonna go right under the top and I'm gonna firm it in and make sure that there's good seed to soil contact. I'm not gonna use all the seeds. Um, there were a lot in this packet, so I'll just store some for next year. Repeat the process for these containers as well. You wanna add your plant tags with the date, seal them up, label the outside, and we'll move on to the final step. Okay, final step, we're all done. I've got four containers, two of the sea holly and two of the uh, butterfly weed. I'm gonna take these back to the, um, the vegetable garden where they will be exposed to full sun for the rest of the winter. And caps off, of course, you wanna make sure that they are able to absorb any snow or rain or whatever to keep the moisture in there. And then you've got the drainage holes in the bottom too so they drain well. But I'm just gonna set them here. I'll turn this around and show you what it looks like. One second. Here's the veg garden. I'm just gonna set this up, set these guys here. They get sun for most of the day and uh, we'll just line them up and wish them well. And that's it, it's that simple. So we'll check back on these a couple months, see where we're at and hopefully with a little bit of mother nature's magic, we will have sea holly and butterfly weed and very minimal effort. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I would love it. And head on over to the blog too. I write about other topics there as well. So here'sshegrows.com. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.